And as you can imagine, the arrest sent shockwaves through a quiet Long Island neighborhood as police swarmed the suspect's home. CBS 2's Dick Brennan went to Massapequa Park to get reaction from some very stunned neighbors. Into the night, people in Massapequa Park did their best to get a glimpse of the home of the suspected serial killer living right in their midst. It's creepy, really. I mean, if you look at the house, I mean, he kind of stands out, but uh, it's, it's creepy. It's weird. It's a quiet town. Everyone knows each other. Nothing really goes on. So it was just surprising to hear and kind of scary. I was like, holy crap. Um, unbelievable right now, town. James Pagano couldn't believe when he heard the name of the suspect because he went to high school with Rex Hewerman. He was uh, very quiet, dark, um, kept to himself, and um, extremely intelligent, very smart. So just who is Rex Hewerman? He grew up on Long Island, but he worked in Midtown, an architect who ran a company called RH Consultants and Associates. How you doing? Good to see you. YouTuber Antoine Amira, who runs a page called Bonjour Realty, interviewed Hewerman about his work a year ago. What has this job uh, taught you about yourself? I think it's taught me more about how to understand people. I'm really what stood out is his, uh, his attention to details. He was very knowledgeable, very detail-oriented. Amira told us Hurman had a distinct physical presence. Intimidating, no. Imposing, uh, yes, very, very imposing. He is ahead of both me, a very large person. I still remember uh, his handshake when we met. Very strong. Wow. A very strong handshake. It was like you, you were shaking like a very thick piece of marble. That's how strong his hand was. CBS2 was outside Hurman's office at 36th and 5th as authorities carried out at least four computers. And now the investigation continues. Uh, the human nature is fascinating because you never know who you have in front of you. It's very uh, unsettling at the same time but also fascinating.